Hey folks, Rob here. This is going to be a solo playthrough of a scenario Dave and I are going to be playing uh, next day or so. I've already given this uh, an initial recce, so you saw that. Um, you basically have the idea of what's going on, I think. In essence, you have Anzag units augmented by a partisan setting up on or south of Row C. And you have IGA setting up on or north of Row T. And this is going to be the Kokoda Trail. Um, the victory conditions are quite simple. Kill as many enemies as possible. And um, if you have any units on their side of this clearing along the trail, you'll get extra VP for that. Now, the side that goes first must have more VP at game end. Otherwise, the second place person going, second person going will have um, victory. Um, so we're going to get right into this. And uh, so I've, I've got a, a setup. I'm going to try this plan, see if it works. I've got... Uh, two dummy stacks of two counters on each side, as well as a an actual squad up north and a half squad or a west and a, a half squad on the east side. North is going to be towards the right always, and um, the, most of my forces are going to be here. And I did the same with the Anzac, except in this case I I use this as a partisan squad because the Russian colors will give it away if you play online. So I'm just going to mimic that squad with this for now until we get contact. And then I have a dummy stack up here. The rest of the Anzac forces are going to be set up on the uh, the trail itself. So let's get into that. So it's a simultaneous setup, as I said in my initial recce, which means that you put up a board between the two sides. You both set up at the same time. Then you lift the board. Now we roll to see who goes first. So one to three will be the Anzac. And so it's going to be the Japanese that move first in this case. So the first thing we'll do is do a wind change die roll. Now, it is overcast, which means that rain is possible. Anytime I roll a 10 or more, it's going to start raining. If it's already raining and again I roll 10 or more, then it's going to go to heavy rain. And the difference between the two is that um, with normal rain, there's no impact from one to six hexes. It's uh, it's only when it's heavy rain that you have a plus one between one to six hexes. I don't see any shots longer than that on this map. So we just have to worry about the one to six for the heavy rain when it happens. Uh, all right, so nothing happened with the wind change. So we can go right to the movement phase. And uh, we'll start moving. So we start concealed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, this is all going to be dense jungle except... For those um, woods hexes that are not completely surrounded by bamboo or other woods hexes. So this ring right here will be light jungle. Everything else will be dense. We'll have light on the edges and etc. Next guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are both led by leaders. That's why they can move six. There's also no double time until we have a known enemy in line of sight. So this guy here is going to have to pay one, two, three, four. And they'll have to stop and my units up here. So we can bypass for one, two, three, four. This guy here um, is in deep jungle, so he's gonna have to roll to see if he strays, which he doesn't. So then uh, we can go uh, two, four. <clears throat> now this one here, I just realized this is bad placement because this is bamboo. Bamboo will take all your moves. So this guy here can move in. Uh, this guy here can move in as well. Um, it's He's in the woods hex, so he's going to have to take a strain dial from this point because he's now in dense jungle. And we're looking for a six on the colored die to indicate strain. So once more, those guys are fine. And that's it for the Japanese move. So we can go right to the advance. Everybody can come forward. So civilian interrogation is also in effect. And as part of the wind change die roll, if you roll a three or a four, depending if you're friendly or hostile neutral country, you'll get civilian interrogation. There's also prisoner interrogation available, but because we have no quarter in effect for both sides, because it's August 42, um, it's unlikely we're going to get many prisoners, but you never know when that'll happen. Uh, civilian interrogation for countries. Now, the Japanese are considered to be in a hostile, so they need to roll a three on their wind change die roll. Um, the Anzacs are considered to be a friendly country, so if they roll a 4 on their wind change, they'll get interrogation. Uh, let's start moving now. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, both front stacks are led by leaders um, to uh, to get into place. Uh, you are just going to skirt on the outside. One, two, three. You'll have to stop there. Uh, Anzacs are led or do not have to worry about straying. And they do boost a morale by two movement factors. However, if I use that right away, I might give it away. So I'm just going to go bypass for one, two, and then three, four. I think I'm going to have them work their way this way. Plus, I do have to be aware that the Japanese do have something coming this way. I can probably take a guess that one of these is probably a dummy. But um, you don't know until you know. So we're going to have to keep that in mind. Now, these guys, one, two, three, four, will be limited to that much move. For defending fire... This Japanese knee mortar here is going to be assembled. All right, so in the Anzac advance phase now. So uh, you guys are going to start splitting up, I think. So let's conceal you. I have to remember how to do this in uh, the asshole playing face to face. All right, so we're going to clone this guy. We're going to put him here. You guys are going to advance to J5. You guys are going to advance to J4. You guys will advance to I5. <clears throat> now I do have the option I could have started with um, <clears throat> taking my one of my squads and producing two half squads and put them in front, which might not be a bad idea. But uh, I miss, we'll just assume that that didn't happen with the uh, the Anzacs. All right, so now we're into turn two. Now, we do have line of sight, but again, these are not known enemy units, so these guys won't be able to move normally. Let's go to wind change. So right now we're skirting the rain thing, that's fine. And we're in the prep. So the first thing you're about fire is the mortar. <clears throat> All right, so uh, we're going to target this unit here three hexes away. Now, again, with the uh, Japanese mortar, we have some strange rules. Uh, it can only fire smoke three to ten hexes. It can fire white phosphorus 1 to 5, but the rate of fire is lower down to 1. And it can also fire HE um, at 1 to 16 hexes, which means it can fire adjacent. However, at 1 to 2 hexes, the rate of fire drops down to 1 as well. So um, <clears throat> we're 3 hexes away. This is not going to be an issue, but I am going to try a white phosphorus shot onto this location. Now... The only thing I'll have to pay will be the plus two for the concealment in case K. So it's going to need a five or less to hit. All right, so I hit. I maintain rate and I have white phosphorus. So we're going to bloop a, a white phosphorus round in that location, which is going to be an immediate... Um, and it comes down in a dispersed fashion too, by the way. So phase. even in the prep fire white uh, from the steam order all smoke uh, comes down as dispersed so now we have to do a morale track for these guys so first things first we'll strip their concealment and then they'll have to take a, a normal morale track now i don't think there's any modifiers oh and another thing too is um, the Japanese mortar does not give air burst for white phosphorus, and at one to two hex range for HE, it does not give air burst either. So uh, this is just a normal round. Now we do a morale check for the Anzac, and he broke. I don't think Dave's going to be that bad of a roller. Now again, I believe there's no train does apply. Okay, all right, all right. So. I got excited too quickly. So it's actually going to be a minus two. Yep, 
Yeah, it's going to be minus two for light jungle. Um, so it's going to, uh, that's going to be a pass. So he's not, he's fine, but he's no longer concealed. So now I can fire the rest of my units. Leader led with my 10 1. So we can fire the four, eight, and uh, we won't fire the LMG. Um, eight up one. Um, because I got an egg one leader. So eight up one into that location. Oh, wait. It's also smoke now. So it's going to be plus two. Yeah, one for smoke. Two for the train effect is plus three. Minus one leader is a plus two on the eight table. Seven on the eight is a one. Uh, up two is a nine is a pinning task check. Right, so he is fine. And now we have the Anzac movement phase mm. or um, the Japanese movement phase so we'll start with you now you're adjacent to the trail so you don't have to roll but I'm just going to advance one squad forward so let's do this the way we would in Vassal <clears throat> first of all let's turn this off alright so we're going to clone this you two guys are going to advance to there. Now, for you guys, I think what I'm going to do is you're going to move here. That's going to necessitate a string die roll. So we do the moving one first. Again, we're looking for a six on the color die. That's two. That's four. And I think that's all you can do for now. What am I going to do with you? One, two, three. One, two, three. I can always advance to M7. Move into E6. Maybe an option. All right. So let's move you guys here. Uh, one three that's where you have to stop you can go one two three four one two three four one two three four yeah that'd be fine and we'll go to the anzac defensive fire phase now i could fire out of this stuff it would be a plus one two for firing out of the smoke with a plus four so uh an eight up four probably not the best shot um however it is a shot so may as well take that i guess <clears throat> all right well okay uh here again we're also going to assemble the mortar our line of sight so we don't lose our concealment and that's all we can do for the anzac so the advancing fire uh you're gonna keep your concealment i don't even know if you can see i'm not gonna bother checking and we're into route phase so that all comes off and we're into the advance phase Now, I got to be careful how I move here. I can come to L3, but again, I'm going to have to do a strain die roll when I move. Um, <clears throat> all right, so that's enough of that. Let's go to the Anzac turn two. Now, wind change, die roll uh, eight. Again, we're not getting any rain. Um, that's held off so far. We have no rallies to do. And, um, 
One thing I could have done. Oh, and uh, they've been acquired too, so. Um, I could take this one squad and move it over to M5. That would spread out my units a little bit. Uh, again, multi-location fire groups are possible only in light jungle, not in dense jungle. So, uh, something to bear in mind. Now, I can do a line of sight check to see if I can grow a concealment. Which I cannot, because I can see that dot. All right. <clears throat> it's one of those free things you can do sometimes. It, it, it's uh, not cheesy, but it's doing a line of sight check to see if you can grow a concealment. There's one way to get around those uh, line of sight issues. All right, so uh, let's start off with the prep. Now, do I have any fire? Uh, again, I'm. Oh, I got to repair that mortar. Uh, light machine gun, excuse me. Um, I could fire back. <clears throat> and I could fire at this guy here. That would be on the six table, plus two for smoke, four for the jungle. Plus four on the six. An eight would be a penny to Azcheck. Or do I move? Or do I split up? Uh, I'm going to split up this guy here into two half squads. In the rally phase, I should have done that. Now, um, I could just daisy chain my way down, move to J6. This guy comes to J5. You can then move up to here with an advance into those two with your half squads. That might be doable. Gets you out of the way phosphorus. Now, if I move in that, however, I would have to take a morale check and I would lose my concealment. But I think I'm going to move out of the way phosphorus here. Um, All right, so the morale check is actually only when it's placed. So right now, I could move into this location and not have to worry about taking it. So I'm going to do that. You're going to advance into there. Again, you're adjacent to the trail, so you don't have to worry about straying. And these guys are going to come all the way up to J4. One, two, three. You'd be my backfill. And now these guys. The question is, is do I use the Anzac 6 movability? Or do I, because if I don't roll for string right now, the Japanese player is going to know that one of these is an Anzac. But I think I have to get into that location. I need something here in K8 just to uh, act as something for that. One, two, three, advance. I could also move into J9 with the view to cutting off anything that comes this way, which would almost force the Japanese to come up this way, although they could do... Uh, no, I don't have a leader. I can't do a bonsai. So if I force them into the interior, they have to take string die rolls. Uh, we're going to move to full six. So two, four, six. You can always advance to J8, depending on how these guys move uh that's fine all right so this is going to be two three four and that'll be it for the anzac move now we have fire so again i've already acquired i still have white phosphorus um <clears throat> yeah six or less i rolled a five so let's fire again this time it's going to be a Six or less in that location. All right, that is my one and only shot. Oh, I did have a second shot, eh? I never took it. Damn. All right, so this is flipped over. 
It is a hit, so these guys are going to lose their concealment and do a morale check. So the leader is fine, and the squad is fine. Now, snipers are three. got to remember that as well. So all that really for nothing. So we'll mark you with a final. Mark you with a final, and I will fire the squads together. So we're going to go four, eight. Uh, leader directed into here. Although I could do a four up two and a six up three. That might be a better play. Two shots versus one. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll do a four up two to this location. Uh, an eight on the four will be no effect. And now a six up three. That'll be no effect either. Um, so that was the move, defensive fire, and now we're into the advancing fire. Uh, because you've lost concealment, you may as well fire now. So let's go, we'll fire a six up two into this location from here. So that's going to be an eight as a pinning. And he is fine. And then we'll have, he will be firing on the six. Um, plus two, plus four, down one. So plus three on the six. I think we'll try the mortar. Plus three on the six. Uh, it's going to be a nine, missed it by one. All right, and then route phase, none, and we're into the advanced phase. All right, so we're going to grow some concealments here. First of all, you two are going to come to here. You two are going to come to uh, K4. That'll be my speed bump. Um, now, I don't want to do this. Problem is, I'm zeroed in. This should have actually come off in the defensive fire phase. And then it would have come back down on the advancing fire phase, I think. Nope, that's incorrect. It would have lasted. So there's actually should be two. I should have two of these. So if firing out of it would have been more difficult. All right, let's clone that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, back to my query. Do I move into that location on and zero it in? Do I move around it? What's my plan here? I could come this way. You guys move out of the smoke. You guys are set. Uh, let's come to J2. And, um... You would CX going into K9. Or I think I'll just stay there for now. Yeah, I don't want to move into this smoke. Um... Let's split up. Uh, I'll send this squad down. You guys will come into here. Gives them more depth. And then basically, I'm, I'm almost like two little battle groups. This one and this one down here. Uh, I think that's all I can do. So, no close combat. We're into Japanese turn three. Wind change, die roll. We have a ten. So, now rain is in effect. Um, which, again, is not only going to impact 
seven hexes and longer shots, which obviously are not going to happen. When it comes to gaining concealment, these two will not be able to gain it because you have these guys here. <clears throat> so into the Japanese rally phase. Uh, nothing to be done, so we'll go right to prep. Question is, is do I do a bonsai? If I do a bonsai, I lose concealment, but I don't have to pay the plus one for advancing into an enemy location in jungle. I do have smoke to cover this hex and would prevent you from firing onto here. Would not prevent, it would make it more difficult to fight. Okay, first of all, this would come off. One of them would be gone. Now, actually, they both come in dispersed, so they both be gone in my prep fire phase. So there goes that. Um, I do have a leader. I have three squads. I could do a bonsai. You would be running in the open. Although I could fire smoke. I could fire white phosphorus into K6. That would help keep these two guys from getting easy shots when I move into L5. Actually, I can't because this is inherent terrain and blocks line of sight along that hex vertex. So I'd have to fire into there. Alternatively, I could fire the mortar into here. That would strip concealment. Um, these are my half squad speed bumps. Uh, I could strip concealment. And when you guys enter in, it's only when it's placed that you have to take the morale check. So I think I'll do that. I'll fire a smoke round into there. Now, again, you're concealed, so it's going to be a uh, five or less. I should have used my leader over there. Uh, so we'll just fire the tube on a five or less. All right, so I'm out of white phosphorus. I'm out of white phosphorus. Now I could fire smoke, but again, that's just not, oh wait, rain. I think rain eliminates um, smoke. Yeah, the only smoke during rain is emanating from a blaze, so I can't use smoke. So that was a wasted shot. Um, hmm. And there will the five, so I don't have rate either. I'm going to fire the 447 with the 10-1 out here, so it's going to be on the two up one. So that's a seven on the two, which I think is a miss. We needed a six to get a um, pinning. Yeah, so we missed with our six. And you guys are marked with the prep. So we go to move. I could move normally. He would lose concealment and then he would fire on me and then I could advance in. Or I could just do the human wave. Let's uh, let's do human wave. What the hell? Again, I'm playing this as a test scenario to see what's going to work and what's not. Um, no idea if this will work or not. So we'll mark with bonsais, participating units. I should probably not do you. Uh, yeah. So before we go to bonsai, let's go to uh, another shot before we do our move. So this is going to be a six up two shot. All right, so that's going to be not sniper and it'll be a six on the six, which is an NMC's. Uh, one check actually. Six on the six will be a one check, All right? 
Um, so the leader is fine, eliminates the one check, and the 648 is fine as well. All right, so worth a shot. We did roll a one on the LMG. I could try again with a two up two. May as well, two up two. Uh, it's going to be no effect. Probably sniper territory. I shouldn't have done that. <clears throat> All right, now we got to move. Now we'll lose our conceal. We're going to go bonsai. And we will move one hex. So we enter this location. These guys will defensive uh, first fire. So it'll be a six uh, up one plus two minus one for non-assault. So it's going to be on the six up one, which is no effect. And you guys as well. Uh, you are immune from strain because we're doing a bonsai. And this unit was in the uh, in line of sight, um, in light jungle. So we don't have to worry about straying that unit. So that'll be gone. Again, it'll be a six up one. Uh, seven on the six is an NMC. Now you have an increased morale of 10 because of the bonsai, which is good. And the 448 is also increased by two because the Japanese leader gives him a plus one and the bonsai gives him a further plus one. All right, he's fine. So no snipers yet. Um, now I could fire again, which I may as well. Um, let's fire you guys first. So let's say first fire on you. Now you guys would fire on the six table. Doubled is 12 plus one. 12 plus one into that location. So it's going to be a seven. Seven on the 12 is a one check. So again, you need a nine. And the 448 needs a nine as well. More fours. <laughs> uh, okay, so you guys are first fired. Now again, you can all final fire. But before we do that, let's do the first fire. Um, let's do two shots. So you're going to be a six up one. That'll, uh, you don't cower. So it'll be a nine. So that's no effect. And now we'll do a um, six flat on that location. Six on the six is a one. So you need a seven or less. And you are fine. Wow. Ineffective Anzac fire. All right. So that's the first of two shots. Now everybody's going to final fire. So first thing is let's get rid of that. And we will do you. So that would be tripled and then half. So be on the two table, up one. Six on the two is a pinning, so you're going to be immune. Uh, these guys here will fire again, two up one. Uh, seven, so again, no results. Uh, you will fire on the six table up one to here. Six on the six is a one check. So again, we need a nine and a nine. All right, so uh, not exceed ELR, but you are striped going in. I guess that's a result. Now, I fired a four, so I don't get to use the... Uh, well, it's only a mortar anyways. All right. Uh, you guys got to do something. So, um, this would be on the two up, two flat. And then a two up one. Five on the two is an NMC. So, you need a, an eight. Which you exceed. So, you're going to be striped as well. And everybody here has final fired. That's not too bad.
Uh, other moves. Now, I am concealed. I do have two squads, but that's going to be a 6 4 8. So if I move here, um, it's one hex. Normally, I would have to do a string die roll to see if I do that. If I do, in fact, stray. Again, we're looking for a six on the color die, so I'm fine. And you guys here will have to take a string die roll as well. So the first is a movement. We have a six. And uh, it's going to be a first line, which strays on a three or more. So it's going to be string die roll. <clears throat> so we're going to go direction five for one. Doesn't that work out? Oh, I forgot to put snipers down. I always forget to put snipers down. Uh, so using the uh, clock on the sniper counter, five would bring it down in that direction. So now you're on the edge, light jungle, so it doesn't matter. You're going to go two. And you're not going to do any farther because you'd be losing concealment if this guy reveals himself. <clears throat> Oh, and up here. Now you need a string die roll, which you don't. So you're just going to assault move to there. You're in light jungle, so you don't need it. You're only going to assault move one hex. So again, you don't need to worry about the uh, string die roll. I probably shouldn't have had to roll for this guy because it was only a one hex move. Uh, defending fire options are pretty well exhausted. So let's go to advancing fire. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so we'll start with these guys so that's going to be 3, tripled is 9 halved is on the 4 table actually if you count him that would be 15 half would be on the 6 table plus 2 6 up 2 oh and that should be lax 6 up 2 on the shot, uh, that's Sniper, and it is a 5 on the 6 is a 1, so you take a 1 check. Oof. Rip. Rip season. <clears throat> um, sniper. No Sniper. And here it's going to be a 9, halved will be 4, up 2. That'll be no results. And that is it. You're going to keep your concealment. All right, so we go to route phase. We have none. Although, in this case, this squad could decide to run. However, if it does, you know these two are going to advance onto that location. <clears throat> hmm. I guess you're staying to fight. Uh, advanced phase. So now we're in CC. You guys are going to come here as well. Uh, you're going to move into here. So that's really going to hurt. I probably should not have done that. You guys will advance one hex. I'll move to here so I don't have to make a string die roll. And then we have you guys. Now I could I could advance into here. I would be CX, but it would be adjacent. So assuming this goes poorly, which it very well may close combat. I, I would be CX, which would eliminate the leader bonus. But I think we'll do that. We'll come into L6. We'll drop the mortar for now. And we'll bring it with it. No, we won't. We'll drop the mortar. Yeah. All right, and you, my friend, are going to do what?
What are you going to do? No, we have no line of sight here, I've just realized, too, so... Uh, let's move to L4. Alright, close combat. This is going to be interesting. Alright, here we have ambush. Now, I'm laxed, so my stealthiness is gone. I'm at a plus one, and I have to pay a further plus one because of the jungle. So I have a plus two on my ambush, which is an eight. All right, so these guys are stealthy, which is a minus one. It's going to be automatic ambush. They rolled a th modified three, so they have ambush. So it's going to be six to four. Six to four, wrong, seven to four. Should be three to two odds. Three to two, which is an eight, because I can use hand to hand. Um... Yeah, I need an 8 or less. Now, I'm versus... The only lax or not CX. So, I think the only thing applies... I don't think anything applies. <clears throat> oh, ambush. They'd ambush. So, it'll be a minus 1. So, I need a 9 or less to kill everything. So, they're dead. Yeah, that was probably a very dumb move. I shouldn't do that. But again, we're testing things out here, so... All right, so that worked out for them. Now here, again, I will be plus one for lax. I don't have to worry about the plus one for jungle because I entered in the movement phase. So I need a um, this up one. So I'm a four. He's stealthy, so he'll be at a minus one. So he's at a two. So no ambush. So three to two will be one to one. And um, I need a five. Oh, wait, hand to hand. It's automatic hand to hand. So we have a three to two. Oh, that's right. Three to two odds. <clears throat> so I need an eight. No ambush. Oh, I do get a minus one for being Japanese. Yeah, Japanese hand to hand is a minus one. So I need a nine or less. All right, so I kill him. Now he comes back <clears throat> at a two to three, which will be on the one to two. And he has a six. So I'm casually reduced and he's gone. That'll come off. That'll come off. Let's get some CVP counters out too. So I've lost one, two, three. I've gained, I should say two for that and the um anzacs have three yeah that's a dumb move advancing into close combat all right this location here i'm stealthy and i have concealment is a minus three however because i'm paying plus one for the jungle it'll be only be a minus two to my ambush die roll i roll a four these guys are at a minus one he rolled a zero, so they have ambush. All right, so uh, six to eight. Six to eight is one to two odds. He would need a six with ambush would be a seven or less to kill me. All right, so he didn't kill me. Now I come back at eight to six. Eight to six is one to one. I need a... Seven with a plus one because I was ambushed. And I rolled a 12. Now this guy could withdraw. Which I think he's going to do. Yeah, you're going to come to this location here. Alright. Um, any other... That's it for close combat. Alright. <clears throat> Concealment gain, we have none to worry about. Except for you. You would gain concealment. Oh, these guys would be CX for advancing into the uh, into the uh, bamboo. All right, <clears throat> let's do the Anzac turn three.
Uh, I'll assume that's on the ground. <clears throat> All right, uh, wind change, die roll. So rain is still in effect. No interrogation. Uh, let's pick up the Japanese light. We'll give it to him. You guys are going to transfer the mortar. Oh, you can do that in the moving phase. I could have done that in the earlier advanced phase, I guess, but... Um, we have no rallies, and we go to prep fire. Now, you guys may as well fire onto this squad. So it's going to be six. I'm going to move the 248 further up. He's going to be my speed bump again, although I could send him into hand-to-hand. -hand. I'm assuming this is going to be gone from this fire here, but we'll see. Uh, so let's go six. Double this 12, up two. So a nine on the 12 is an NMC. And he is fine. Here, we're going to fire 12 doubled. Oh, I got to fix that gun. Oh, it's bipped. Uh, so it's going to be 12 doubled is 24 up one because of my leadership. Eight on the 24 should be a two. Uh, two check, yeah. All right, so the first squad is striped. Second squad is elard and striped. So you're striped, you're elard, and striped. And that is it for the prep fire. Um, <clears throat> movement phase. Now you have to retreat your dummy stack. So if I move into J3, first of all, I need to do string, which I don't. All right, now I'm going to come to J3. Uh, I could... Oh, that's a dummy stack. All right, uh, you are going to salt move into J5. You're going to come back this way here for two. I can go two, four. I would risk getting shot with a 12 up one, and I would lose concealment. So I'm going to have to approach stealthily. Yeah, I'm just going to come here to J8. I'll solve move one hex. And defending fire. Do we have? Yes, we do. Let's fire a four up two into there. That's horrible. And we will fire a six or five doubled is ten, so on the eight up to ten on the eight is a miss. And then we'll fire a four. I could fire a G. And this would be air burst. No, there's no air burst. I want the two hex range. Um <clears throat> yeah, let's fire the two. So it's gonna be a plus one for CX. Uh, six or less to hit. HE. Uh, that is sniper and rate. Now, remember the rate drops to one from one to two hex range. So, um, let's get the effects, which is an eight on the two. We're on the six column, should be down to the two. Yeah, so I'm gonna need a six or less, and it would be a plus two. Um, <clears throat> So it's really not effective in jungle. Especially the Japanese one where there's no air burst. Now, uh, Anzac Sniper, we have a 1. It's 3 for 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's going to land on here. Which is going to uh, break you. So let's get rid of this. And you are now broken because of the sniper. <clears throat> so I do have rate. Uh, let's fire again. 
All right, that's going to be a hit, and it's going to be a last shot. And on the effects, we have nothing. Now we'll fire the squad. It'll be a four up one because of my leadership. Uh, CX will reduce that. So it's going to be a four up two. Seven on the four is a pinning task check, so the nine one. The six four eight and the other one. So they're all fine. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. That's it for defensive fire. Now we have advancing fire. Um, oh, I forgot to move you. You're going to come here. No, you're not. I got to worry about these guys jumping on you. So, um... I should have fired him onto here. That was a mistake. If I fire now, it would be on the two up two. So I'm not going to advance and fire. You're going to retain your concealment. And you can't see. So no routes. <clears throat> and we're into the advance phase. All right. So you're going to advance... Right now, this is worth one VP because it's adjacent to the trail. Uh, let's put you on, one to one, but I would pay plus one entering his domain. But I am stealthy, so that would cancel. The Japanese would be at a minus one. Question is, is do I throw in a unit as well? That would be a um, six to two would be three to one odds. I would be concealed and stealthy for minus three, but it would be a plus one because I'm entering a jungle. So it's going to be uh, a minus two on the ambush die roll, but I would be at three to one. And hand to hand would be a ten. He will be at a minus one for ambush. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I think the time for stealth is gone. So let's go into there. Put you up here. Uh, down here, I could send in one squad. That would be one to one. He would be back a one to two. Again, stealthy and jungle would cancel. He would be at a minus one. Or I could wait for him to come to me. I think I'm going to have to wait for him to come. Now this guy here is going to advance to here. Well, I guess I could have routed him. <clears throat> That's fine. And these guys are going to come to K4. I'm sure at this point, as a Japanese player, I would probably, given what's going on here, I'm pretty sure that this would probably be a, a dummy stack, but I'll play like I don't know. All right, so we're into the close combat phase. I only have the one. Now ambush, as we said, minus two, minus three for being stealthy, plus one for the jungle is a neg two. So I made a modify four. He is at a minus one. So he's at a one. So the half squad has ambush on these guys coming in. Two to six. <clears throat> I'm forced to use hand to hand. So two to six is going to be one to four. I do have ambush, so I need a six or less with a minus one. Uh, minus two because I'm Japanese. So I need a six or less with a minus two. <laughs> cool. Alrighty.
now coming back will be six to two will be three to one he needs a 10 with a plus one yeah unreal unreal and uh that's going to be that and i need a copy um that's going to be this video here and um, we'll do another one to finish off the game um japanese are really not doing too well the bonsai i think worked this was advancing into their stupid this should have gone to the japanese with a minus two on a six uh, and this was a complete clusterfuck. And I got Anzacs coming in. One of these two is going to have an Anzac squad, which is going to give them a minus one in hand to hand as well. So, <clears throat> uh, should be interesting going into the Japanese turn four. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.